Want to know what the signs are that you might be an ENFJ personality? Are you highly attuned to the needs of others and use empathy to understand other people? Can you quickly grasp what their emotional needs are, their motivations are, what their concerns are? Your primary focus is supporting them and encouraging their personal growth. ENFJs really are special because they are perfect at forging relationships with others and connecting people to each other. So they can sort of see the potential in somebody and see what it is that somebody is seeking and provide a solution for them. Provide somebody else, connect them to another person who they know can provide a solution for them and help them for their personal growth, their personal development. ENFJs have a talent for bringing people together who may seem very different, who may seem very diverse, and actually find a commonality between them and bring them together and forge that kind of harmonious relationship. They draw out the best in others and tend to be really inspiring leaders. When they don't feel appreciated for the work that they do, they tend to have this feeling of self-doubt within them, like, am I doing enough? Am I good enough? They start to worry and feel really guilty that, well, if I'm not getting appreciated, it must be because I'm not doing enough. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing it right. I'm not helping them in the way that they need help. And they can become really sensitive to any sort of criticism, taking it really, really personally. Whether that criticism is a real criticism, a constructive criticism, or even an imagined criticism, an imagined slight. They start to see things in people like, oh, is that, like, was she trying to be, um, you know, passive aggressive with me? Was it, you know, they start to hypothetically develop these scenarios in their mind when they start to feel unappreciated seeing things that potentially may not even be there, issues that is. But they have a lust for life. They are so enthusiastic, so warm and energetic. They can bring out the best in anybody. They are genuine listeners and genuine supporters. You'd really be so blessed to have an ENFJ in your corner because they will do whatever they can to help you succeed. That is what energizes them. That kind of relationship with people, that kind of helping others is really what drives them very sociable, very gracious, very personable, and really persuasive. This persuasiveness can sometimes be seen as a little bit pushy by outsiders, but really it's coming from a good place. They're doing it for what they believe to be your best interest. They're very, very insightful and stimulated by all the possibilities in life, and they really want to contribute to something that is in the good for humanity. That is what will really inspire them and make them feel like, yes, I've accomplished something. If I've done something good for others, for the community, for humanity as a whole, and they really take that role to heart and take it as a personal responsibility. Sometimes others can see that, you know, you're taking on too much. This is not your role. You don't have to do this. Why are you, why are you burdening yourself with this and feeling guilty if you don't do it? Because it's not your problem to solve everyone else's problem. ENFJs can't help. Do you think you're an ENFJ?